Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. What is happening everyone, it's your one and only OCG coming at you with another episode of uh, of Hitman 3 guys, we are back, uh, what I want to say is uh, thank you so much on uh, every single support you provided me on this series guys, uh, you guys are amazing, I want to also say that we are on mission 2, uh, replay mission, wait, why is it saying replay me? Uh, Continue story. Okay, we're gonna continue with the story. Death in the family. Okay, so that's cool. So that's our second mission too. Also, what I want to say, guys, you might be hearing some noises because I do live with other people. Uh, the uni, uni life, you know what I mean, guys. So yeah, let's get cracking, everyone. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side.
Alright guys, so we have our objective, we did our little video, uh, we know who's the target, Alexa, uh, and we have to find uh, the case file. Let's plan guys. First of all, we have to make sure that we have only one disguise, so that's completely fine, we can always change that. Weapon. Do we really need a weapon with us? Mm, we can do without a weapon, but can I... Uh, the show details... I don't want to okay so we keep with normal free coins free coins is fine and I want definitely change this what is this uh, snowball I don't even need I, I don't need this anything else I can have coins definitely have a poison baby let's play out baby Thornbridge Manor the Carlisle family's home for countless generations the Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Alright, so we're in action. Death in the family. We can do this. First of all, we need to uh, find the case file and eliminated Alexa, so we can always do that. But what I need to do first is I, I'm struggling. I am really struggling. Go on option with with the graphics. Graphics is trash. Uh, frame rate. Why is it locked? Or not if PS provided a potential higher frame rate up to 60 frames at the cost of the potential more variable frame rate. Un unlocked. Unlocked. Okay. Let's go. All right. I see my target. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Please wait. Okay. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. Right, I need to take him out somehow. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Thank you. How am I going to do that? Can I have this coin? Okay, you know what? He, I am trespassing. That's completely fine. But I need to find someone that is around here. I have to speak to the dude. I heard Mary fainted when she heard Madame Carlyle was still alive. She didn't even see it herself. It was Fernsby who told her. I can believe that. What a surprise it was. And her funeral car is still going ahead. Okay. Oh, two both of them. Hey, can you look into that? Sure. Go on, grab him. Get in here. Right. Go through, baby. Okay, I need to find a bin or something. Everything, 
Josie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Poor thing. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? I feel weak in my knees from all this tension here. Don't worry. Okay, I need to be very cautious because some areas that might be off limits, like in here. See what I mean? Okay. Okay, so we have to look around. I can take the water. She said things will change around here. I can promise Fish. you that. And her son Patrick is just as bad. Look at Rosie. She has no respect. Staff room. Praying for girls like that. But he was such oh. a gentleman. He gave uh, and all. Rosie, why would I need baking need sugar? Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Fever. Okay, I need to Ah, I see. What I can do. Sink, okay, I need to find poison. If I find poison I can follow big guy. Tell me. I can find big guy to go to the toilet and then I can take his take his loot. And his disguise. Uh, blend in as a maintenance god. I can't. Okay, first of all, I need to find out if there is any poison around here. Oh, what is this? There you go. How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? Okay, is he gonna have a sip again? Yeah, let him have a sip. That's nice. Now you move away from this. There you go, guys. Look at this. This is gonna be. Alright. He's gonna have a sip. He's gonna come to the toilet through this area. While he does that, we're gonna be waiting for him in the toilet. Uh, pick up some. Why would I need a soap? Kill someone with a soap. That'd be cool. Uh, we don't want to drown them, we're just gonna put them to sleep. Okay, nice. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disguise ourselves with this guy. There you go. Come in, my man. Dump him in. Oh yeah. This area is now clean. Alright. I can blend myself in. Stop blending in, okay. These guys don't really know me, so that's cool. Okay, new area. Whoa, this house is massive, baby. Okay. Oh, that's the butler, guys. The butler knows everyone. Okay. There's an old Hey, dude. Okay. Do you guys think if I take a security, the uh, can I mission? Okay, I know my mission. Uh, a day to remember. Okay. There you go. Solve the mystery of Torrance. Okay. Uh. I can't take him. Oh, but it'd be nice to know. Pick up. Okay, that's the shaving thing. No. Anything else around here I can take? Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take. Miss Key. Okay, nice. Where would I find the key though? Without library? 
How's everything coming along, Elaine? Very well, Mr. Fernsey. Make sure you take your bunker away. I will. I don't think Mum will hear you cry. Alright, I can't take him down over here, guys. Do you have a detective though? Hmm. Is he gonna drink? Knowing him, he's a detective. He's not gonna drink on the job, is he? So. Gregory okay, Carlisle, him. Quite the detective. Well done. Tell me what else that mastermind of yours has figured out. I would rather know if your shocking behavior serves other, more sinister purposes than self-amusement. Intriguing. Go on. Blusterous personas like yours often reveal a deep and festering boredom, sometimes resulting in risky behavior. Private challenges. Murder, perhaps. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I like you, chick. Listen, Gregory. Something's off. Pruitt got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Oh, dear God, not this again. So I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Alright, so we've got some extra information here guys, so that's cool. Alright, I need to... I need to disguise myself as a bodyguard. Because I need to speak to... Speak to him. Uh, right. Alright, we're gonna... Can I close the door? And stay off. Go sleep. Okay, this guy. Okay, my dude over here. Perfect. All right. So we we have a nice little. Costume here, guys. I still need to find our fuse box. All right, we're gonna go to the top. I want to find the case file before before killing the woman. Sir, that is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and last one to be alive. Interesting, okay, she's going down now. Alright, my job is to investigate this top area. Oh crap. There's a lot of them. Hmm. Look around here, guys. Do you think it was a suicide? I don't know. Madame Carlyle certainly thought so. Why else? Okay, so find the case file. Case file will be somewhere. Ooh, 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 we got a letter, baby. Pick up a letter. View intel. Oh, okay. Ah, I get it. I need to find. So guys, I need to find. Uh, I need to find specific uh, two tokens. Uh, the tokens grant access to a deposit box in London. So I need to find tokens. So that's interesting. Where would the tokens be placed at? Found it. 
Somewhere down below, I think, with this. Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Okay, that gives us another little bit of information. Question is, there's another way through here. Right there. Okay, nice. What does it do? Okay. Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. All right, she's coming back over here. Just give us a nice little information. Don Yates, Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is gross negligence of your I could I don't know if I have to shoot this consequences for your company and oh, what? you personally as well. What is this? I will make sure missing propen tank. Oh, okay. Words. I see. So if I have the propen tank, I can drop over here and some explosion might happen. And that will Blow things up in here, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. What is this? There's a shotgun. Just okay, just lying in there, okay, cool. Oh, she have her own little room over the knife. I truly need to figure out how to get in there. Alright. Ooh. We found another room, guys. Oh, what the hell? The guy is legit dead. I believe he was strangled. Can I take photos? Do I have a camera? Yeah, I do. The dead body of Zachary Carlyle, Alexa's little brother. I wonder. Let's see this. What happened to him, 47? Oh, we got a more intel, guys. Shoes? You intel, okay. Uh, so yeah, he was killed. The guy was killed. There's a lot of intel we're finding, guys. Interesting. So he wrote wrote himself a suicide letter. In the same case. There you go, whiskey. Alright, so we found a whiskey, we found a 
we found a letter saying that he, suicide letter, but we know that he wasn't suicidal. He was shopping for boots last night. Yeah, also, we know that there's a puncture wound inside his uh, neck. So, he was murdered. Okay, small office. Nice. Aaron Maybe Ford, I found some calling from Morgan Yates and Cohn. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number 5085. Hi there. Is my shift over already? Yes, I'll take over from here. It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? Thank you, my man. Right. I'll double check and get back to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Go sleep, my lad. Let me figure out this. This all confirms okay. that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Okay, files found on the lawyer. Okay, so it seems like they were stealing money. Okay, uh. Right, I guess I want to try to. Oh, I can't go that way, okay. Wait, maybe I can. Ooh, I can go up. Let's go. We'll climb this. Interesting. Ah, I don't have access over there. Damn, he's strong doing that, you know? Where's this gonna get me? Okay, that got me over here, nice. Oh, that's... Okay, okay, okay. So there's a missing switch, guys. If you look at it, there's a missing switch. But to do that... How many coins do I have? I've lost coin, bro. Excuse me? Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look okay. around the office, 47. So we got a clock. We got fireplace, moose, and a the scope thing. I forgot the name of that. Alright, first of all, she said the clock, yeah? A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Fireplace? Do we see anything on the fireplace? Seven? Okay, so we've got seven. Uh, is there a number over here? I don't know if this is this clock, let me have a look. Okay, I need to find a moose. Wait, well, there's a lot of mooses around here, guys. Right? 
Damn, I'm trespassing guys over here. Can open it. Interesting. Very interesting. Unicorn horn? Why would you have a unicorn horn? Nice. Oh! Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's a peep. Interesting. Stop peeping. He's spying on each other. Okay. Can I peep at this? Hmm. Got peeping holes. Cool. Okay, so that was interesting. It's a hell of a uniform you got there, guy. All right, I need to find. Okay, there we go. We have the telescope. Nine. So we got seven, nine. So we, first, we have to find the clock. I don't know if the clock is. I believe it's this clock over here, guys. Or maybe it's this one here. One. Oh, this guy's having a meeting. Okay. One. Uh, so we got. One. So one. Nine. Seven, and then I have to find a moose. If I am mistaken, there's the moose, but I see no. I don't know if this is that moose. Five. One. So it's gonna be one nine seven five. Perfect. All right. Good work, forty seven. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Easy baby, let's go. We got this information done. Now eliminate Alexa and we are done. Where is this gonna take me? There we go. That might actually take me to that room. Or maybe not, I don't know. This is the toilet. Let's have a look. Can't get in this way. There must be a window open, guys. Maybe we'll find some extra information. Hey, oh, definitely. Okay, we're going through. Climb over. Amazing. What is this? Item obtain it. What did I obtain? A key? Greenhouse keychain. Oh nice. A keychain in the greenhouse. Found in the bathroom in which Emma and Gurgic are staying. The key is Self has been removed. Okay, so somebody took the key. Crap. That's not good. There is something that can. Oh, okay. 
point of my camera. Is this telling me to take a photo of something? There you go, scanning shoes. Get the intel. Shoes and footprints found in Emma Girl's room. Interesting. What's this? Letters. Hmm. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Madame Carla's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. There's no family without secrets, 47. But this family seemed to outdo most. My parents would hate him. Alright, this cane, if I am mistaken, is on the, to the top. I will put this cane in here for now. I believe I know what this cane is for. Walking cane, okay. That was this information. Let me just go try to find an entrance to another room. With more info. Alright, so this is the door. That I want to get in as well. But it's locked. So we're gonna to go... I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go around it. Maybe we'll be able to get through it. Maybe one of the windows might be open. So we're just gonna see place. There you go. See that? If you do not have the keys, get in through the window. I don't know. Come through. Alright, we got a laptop. Let's get the info. View intel. Uh, Rebecca calls the laptop found in the bedroom in which she is staying. Logs to the laptop reveals that Rebecca was in conference call for several hours around 10 pm last night. Interesting. Painting. Ooh la la. Secret room found, let's go. Oh, okay, we've been here. Now oh, I didn't even notice that it's got secret rooms. Okay, first of all, I don't really need to get in here. What I want to do is I want to keep checking the rest of the room, okay. Alright, let's scan the notebook. That gives us extra Rebecca's notebook. Rebecca uh, notebook found in the bedroom in which she's staying. The notes concern various queries, assets, as well as uh, board meetings from the night before. The handwritten does not match Zachary's suicide note. Interesting. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to disguise. I want to disguise myself as the as a detective. That's my next job. <laughs> Painting scan. View details. A portrait of a Kermé. Laid all the brother loca uh, located in the sitting room. I need to get him somehow to be alone. stuff around here come on oh, this day keeps getting better and better no, no, no. all right nice this guy's if you're myself. dressed like a detective 47 you might as well act the detective i suggest you go talk to the butler before we do that i want to just quickly take a picture over here now I'm allowed to take pictures, okay? Let's see, scan this. 
information. Let's have a look. Uh, Edward Crest knows for the he is writing for his mother pre uh, pretend funeral. The handwriting does not match Jackery's suicide note. Have fun. He plays the string of my heart. All right, let's talk to the butler. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. There's truly no need for me to inspect the crime scene when, I, when I've already been there. So... But we're gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna skip the walk, guys, unless he's gonna be speaking to me. Uh, and i see you guys in the room. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences Word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Well, I have already investigated this room, guys. Oh, okay, 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 we found something. Full book. A hidden door. It's secret a secret room. passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Hmm. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Uh, butler is somewhere down below. We're gonna go get him. There he is. Mr. Fernsby. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I've prepared for. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful right, so information, 47. A quick glance and I can see that you've already uncovered some relevant facts. So how does one so... solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I already found enough clues. I found every single clue, I think. Alright, now my, my thing here is... Speaking to the suspects. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the, the short of it, 
Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. All right, so that's the information provided from him. Thank you so much. You guys, can, if you want, just pause it and read it. All right, I'm gonna go speak to the rest of the that's beautiful suspects. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Shared by mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. If that's all, I have- Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Alright, you're excused, my lad. Okay, I have to speak to the daughter now, I think it is. There she is. Found the guys. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Yes. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have- Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Okay, thank you. So, some more information about the lady. I don't know why they are crossed out to me. So, Patrick no. Carlyle. Can you tell I think me maybe they cross out because I already spoke. Evening. Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Don't tell mother. 
okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Thanks for the information. Let me just quickly scan this. Thank you. Get the intel. Just read it through. Alright, now I just need to find one more lady. If I am mistaken, mission. I mean, that's the intel. There you go. Suspects. I need to speak to them three guys. Wait, I already spoke to them. You're taking this hard, aren't you? So the interesting bit is, I can't get in there without the key, or the one of the girls is someone is in there, one of the suspects, and I can't get in there. There's a crowbar. Right here. Yeah, the security goes coming this way. Emma Carlyle in the greenhouse. How cute. Try and unlock the door. Emma Carlyle. Oh, Let's speak to her. You startled me. I, I was just. I don't know, thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much of a life, is it? Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you'd excuse me. Emma Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Okay, so we got the information about her. Uh, questioning. But it does not, Alba does not think it much yet. There's a poisonous flower. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used though. Them. Let's repair this. Perfect. Lethal. We have two at least. Thank you. And let me just take a photo of this. This is a table. 
of showing lethal dosages for the poison. Thank you very much. To kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. I am ready to uh, present to my report everything. to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. You always led by example. Hmm. Rather Actually, you know what? Not right now. What I want to do is I want to find his his office. Oh, okay, okay. And this is the lady over here that was sleeping with the guy. If I'm not mistaken. Tell me what you did last night. Let's, let's, let's trouble, aren't I? Ask it. I, I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside, except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Okay, so that guy has been taken out. The she's the main there. visible suspect. Some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. Now I just have to go and speak. Find out uh, his office. I need to go to his office, Butler's office. But where is his office? I mean, B's office. There you go. All right, guys. So if you want to find out how to get in here, his office is main entrance. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, main entrance. Coming in right, going right again, and boom. This is his room. Hidden. Look at him. Alright, my job is to figure out everything. Alright, so we got a clue. Uh, the office of Mr. Fingers, the butler, the room is accessible through the storage room in the staff quarter on the ground floor of the mansion. Golf club. Don't really need it. Alright, we got. Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Oh, I obtained a mansion key. Okay, this is literally unlocks every single Zachary's door diary. in the mansion. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? Nope, we don't. Alright, that was good. I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna speak to the lady about... Uh, about the information that I found. And in the same time, I'm gonna murder her. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right guys? Alright guys, uh, let's do this.
Your detective skills have gained you access to the Lion's Den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please Let's talk to her. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Your niece, Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed. 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory. Get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. So if you guys do this, uh, completely all investigation, you will be able to access the uh, the case file, asking for the case file. But you don't need it because I showed you how to get the case file without any problems. Now we just need to eliminate the woman. And to do that guys, we just have to go and poison the biatch. So yeah, alright, what I'm going to do is, as I am aware, there is two, 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 not here, not here. First floor, if I'm not mistaken. There's a security guard costume somewhere around. There is. That's not security. There's the one of the butlers. So, boom. There you go. And now what we guys going to do is we're going to go and try to put the poison inside. Uh, little, okay. Inside the drink over here. Oh, that reminds me, I got to clean my apartment. Edwards, if you don't get back to me immediately. I promise you, I will have your head. I will skin it, boil it, clean it, and soak it in enzyme bleach for three days. Mount it and place it on the wall in the gardener's shit house. So, you will All right, guys. get back to me. You heard Mission it, complete. Well done, 47. Alright, my job now is to get out, guys. Alright, they were searching. But they will not find. Uh, can I get out from here somehow? Is there a pipe somewhere? 
Alright, let's get out. We've got two ways to get out. Due to, to, due to picking up a key for the boat, we can get out through the boat. Or we can get out through through the main entrance. So, I was... I think we're gonna get out through the boat, because the boat is nice, you know? Why not? We get extra points for it. So, let's... Oh, get out. The what the hell? Shit, Shit what's going on? Alright, that was very weird, so Master of the Household, that's cool, we got a trophy as well. What I want to say guys, that was th that was quite like a lot. Thirty-two thousand XP, nice. I like it. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on Mission Free of Hitman Free. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace out.